Alright, so I'm going to try to do a very quick demonstration of, of how you can use manipulatives for some simple multiplication and algebra concepts. Um, now you, you can use Legos for this. Um, there's a product called Algebra Tiles or Algebra Blocks that you can use for this. And there's some virtual manipulatives that you can use online, but I, I do like the actual physical manipulative that you, you can actually hold and play with and, and use. Um, so just looking at some of these Lego tiles, you can see uh, I've got some, some red tiles here. Uh, I've got some blue tiles. Um, I've got some of different lengths. So some of the blue tiles are really long. And, um, you know, I've got some really short tiles. Um, so th there's ones of, of different length. So let's, let's pick one of these red tiles. So how long is this tile? This particular red one is four long. Um, let's say we wanted to look at two of these tiles. So, so I've got two of the tiles now. Uh, and what I've done here is double the number of tiles that I had, or multiply by two. Um, and, um, you know, you can have students actually count out the pegs. So, so, so one red tile is four, and when, when we double or multiply by two, we get eight. And, and it's fine if they, if they count it out, as long as they understand the concept that we're applying here. I can look at a, a, a red tile that's three long and multiply it by three. And, and when I do that, um, if I, if my, my um, Lego is a, of a certain length and I, I multiply it by the same number, so my Lego is three long and I multiply it three times, so it's three wide. I get a square. So when you square a number, um, it's it's as long as it is wide. Um, and essentially, when you represent it using blocks, you actually do get a square. And you can count it up. So so three times three is, and if you count these all up, there's nine, obviously. Uh, so these are some very basic concepts. Let's try something a bit more complicated. So let's say I want to look at a red tile plus one, uh, and I want to square that. I want to find out what I get. So if I square that, I need to make sure that I have as many uh, of the red wide as I have long, but I also need to add ones to the end. So. I'm running out of the these tiles. Um, uh, let me quickly find one in my box of tiles here. All right, there we go. This will work. Okay, so I have x plus one by x plus one. There's there's a missing block here, so let's fill it up this yellow tile. So this represents x plus 1 squared. Um, now my red tile could be a different length, so if I change the length of this red tile, I'm going to have to add a few of these white tiles um, to even it up. Uh, so what I'm going to end up with is, a, is an extra tile at the end that's equal to x. So no matter how big or small my square gets, um, this is going to be the same length, but I'm only going to have one of them. So essentially what I'm going to get is x squared plus two x's. I have one, two, x, and one. So th this is always one. No matter how big or small my tile is, it's always going to be equal to one. 